guys, welcome back to another Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. So today I'm going to be starting off by building the Santa Cecilia Market Shop, which is 3,000 event currency. Yes, so make sure you guys are saving up for this one. I will be giving you guys some tips on how to save up for event currency as well as magic and all of that um, a little bit later on in the video. So make sure you guys stick around to find out all that information. So it is going to take six hours to build the very first attraction in the Coco Limited Time event. So yes, we are moving along quite nicely. We have three of the seven characters so far, one of them being a premium character, two that are part of the event storyline. So again, so far my progress, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the only thing I might be suffering with a little bit maybe uh, over the next like couple of days might just be currency. But that's kind of like I've already brought in kind of the, the characters that I need, I've spent on the attraction. So the big expenses are over for the next few days. So I think I'll be okay, I'll just have to work a little bit harder. Um, before the next character is unlocked. So here is Marlin back in the kingdom and he is now a level seven. I'm happy about this, really. I just, this is how I always look. Mm-hmm, yeah, you always do look a little bit worried in the kingdom, even when you apparently aren't that worried. You know, everybody is actually doing just fine. My kingdom is a very happy and safe place, so you shouldn't be too, too worried, Marlin. But you know what? Once a worry wart, always a little bit of a worry wart there. You can't really uh, tell him to get rid of it, unfortunately, but that's okay. We will be bringing back another character here in just a second. I'm just trying to figure out where is he? Ah, Ernesto de la Cruz, yes. So I, in my last video, I brought him into the kingdom. Hopefully you guys were able to see that. Um, so I've managed now to get him leveled up. So he is a level two. So here is Ernesto. Remember me. Yeah, I can't help myself when he comes into the kingdom. Ernesto de la Cruz is now level two. One cannot deny who one is meant to be. <laughs> I don't disagree with that, but yeah. And something has happened in the kingdom, guys. Yep. We have gotten into, not Ultra Zoom, you guys have seen Ultra Zoom before, I'm in Ultra, Ultra Zoom, yeah, so this means we get to see really weird things in the kingdom, I've showed you guys eyeballs of princesses before, which we shouldn't be able to get that close to, you've seen in their heads, we have seen inside uh, the Cinderella castle where all of our uh, characters come out once they have been leveled up, there is kind of a cool backdrop in there. So there's a lot of different things. Like, look, right now, light on, light off. Oh, wait, wait, off, and on, off, and on, off, on, off, on, off, on. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. Yeah, so there's like a couple of little things in the kingdom like that. Uh, guys, you can see like, oh, there's a backdrop even in here. That's kind of funny. Crazy. So sometimes you do find uh, little unique features, I guess, about the kingdom. They're kind of, they're not quite like Easter eggs. I mean, I'm hoping one day I could get like underneath the kingdom and actually find something there. I mean, I've had Flash disappear under the kingdom before. Unfortunately, I couldn't see him, but he ended up being over uh, by Prince Eric's castle, believe it or not. Yeah, um, it was actually during a live stream too. So you guys saw it live happen. It was like... He went, we were laughing about it and saying he went on some like incognito secret, you know, spy mission or whatever. And it was just, it was hilarious. But uh, yeah, well, there's definitely some interesting things that happen in the kingdom. Uh, the ultra, ultra zoom has only happened. This is the, actually the second time that this has happened. Usually ultra zoom happens. Um, sometimes you guys can trigger it if you guys are like uh, zoomed into a character then click them and sent to send them out on a quest Sometimes your kingdom will kind of glitch and then you'll get way closer than you ever imagined to your characters That's kind of the only trick I sort of have for you guys to get there It doesn't happen every time like I mean I've done it loads of times and it hasn't triggered anything But if you guys are looking to really try to get some of these like, you know Strange close appearances in your own kingdom because you want to check something out specifically um yeah, like just just give it a whirl. Again, it doesn't happen to everybody, but if you want to try and access this feature, then do it. And it's quite cool because you can get super close to random things like underneath 
the battlegrounds. Yeah, super weird. Um, you know, just strange things like that. You can also uh, zoom in like really close to certain quests that maybe you love in the kingdom, and you just like sometimes you're like, oh, I wish I could get closer to that character for whatever reason. It's just too far away to really see like the animations perfectly. Maybe it's for an Instagram clip that you guys are recording for, or you want a screenshot, or maybe you just want to kind of have some fun with your kingdom just in general. Uh, yeah, the, it's a pretty cool thing that happens. But ultra ultra zoom, super duper rare, but I managed to access it again. Actually, this is like the second time in like what? A week or two weeks, I guess? It hasn't been that long since I got it the first time. So pretty crazy. I love this one actually. So inside Toy Story Mania, so inside Woody's mouth, you can see the entire uh, track where, yeah, like where the kids will actually kind of ride the attraction in and along the rail there. Uh, so it's, it's quite cool that you can actually sort of uh, get inside of Woody's head and see some of that interesting stuff like they don't sometimes they do leave animations like just empty but sometimes you know what behind it all there is something else there wow I'm way too close to that attraction so close in fact that uh apparently it disappears if you go too close so anyways that's a good view of it it looks super cool but anyways back to the kingdom yes back to the kingdom right now so, I need to bring back Miguel, guys. So, I did lose, to be honest, I did lose a little bit of dialogue and stuff like that. So, I'm going to actually try and snag that uh, from my mom. So, Disney mom who posts on Swirly Pops. I do the Baby Kingdom on there, guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try and get back some of that dialogue for the secondary storyline and stuff like that. But, yeah, or side quest, I think there is too, but not today. <laughs> Miguel Rivera is now level four. My family guides me. Today and always. And he's playing his air guitar. Strum, strum, strum. And we give him a high five apparently while he's doing that. Yep. So I did lose a little bit anyways of the side quest dialogue, but I will be providing it for you guys as well as a secondary storyline. I'll be continuing that. Uh, I'll try and get it in my next video. I just actually have to wait for my, my mom to actually post the content. I've already asked her. She's like, yeah, just take it. It happens sometimes, guys, when we record and, uh, yeah, we just, we lose the clip for whatever reason. It could be our device storage is full or it just, yeah, it just didn't screen record or whatever. Like, there's loads of things that can happen. Um, and yeah, you don't obviously want it to, but it does happen occasionally. So there'll be like some random clip probably in the next video that'll be like a little bit too weirdly sized or whatnot um but that's okay my mom's had to do that like take clip from or two from me before so uh, it doesn't happen too too often but when it does it's kind of crummy yeah anyways here is the attraction guys there it is nice and built and here we go with some dialogue from miguel papa hector mama imelda mama coco I I don't know if you're listening, but I wanted to put on a show in your honor for all three of you, uh, like you used to do when Coco was little. That's thoughtful of him, actually. He's not being mean about my kingdom anymore. Hmm. The attraction's so tiny, guys. Just want to say that. I... I still don't know if I'm going to do a good job, uh, but I'm going to try. So I was wondering, can I have your blessing? I think they will give it to you, Miguel. I'm pretty sure they have done it once with no conditions. I am sure they will do it again. And I bet you they will be pretty excited when they can reunite with you again. Every day, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I can feel it. I think... This feels right. Wow. That, that special magical powers right there. Coming from my magic kingdom. See how I did that, guys? Smooth, right? So smooth. Okay, Miguel, why can't I tap you? Sometimes this happens to you guys. You try and tap the screen and this game glitches. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Quest complete. Generational divide. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's so weird when this game glitches. I don't know how I know it, but I just do. That they're over there thinking of me right now. Oh, and more.
more dialogue. Okay, if I have my family's blessing, I think I can actually do this. Of course you can. Stay positive. You know you can do it, Miguel. I have faith in you. I think I'll play in the plaza here, like Papa Hector did, but not right away. I I have to get my audience more excited first. Huh? What is he gonna do? I I wonder if Hector uh, was ever his own opening act, <laughs> cause I'm pretty sure I'm about to do mine. Get psyched! Send Miguel to hype up his audience. You know what? I'm hyped. Already thinking about it. So here is a 60-minute quest, guys, and he is off playing music in the kingdom. And it is done. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot better. Uh, just having one good idea can really change how you play. I, I just wish there were more of me to play. Uh, I've only got one guitar, and it's acoustic. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome, dude. Awesome. No, that that's Crush coming out, guys. Wait, that's it. I need to find more musicians to play with me. Oh, we have mus musicians in the kingdom, Miguel. You are golden. Now, whether you actually want to borrow some that are already here, or you got, uh, you kind of want to, you know, get your own guys together, that is totally up to you. I've got characters, for example, like Mickey and Koofy, you know, who are helping you out with your quest for the event. That. Uh, not good at playing instruments. You know, we got uh, the trumpet with uh, Mickey, so that, that could sound really good with the guitar. Quest complete. Get psyched. I bet there's a lot of them around. Sometimes you find performers where you don't, you don't expect it at all. Oh, and more dialogue. Okay. Hector will not be be expecting me anywhere near his silly little excuse for a performance venue. What does he want? He's up to no good again. Which is why I must be my stealthiest while I eavesdrop on him. Though, <clears throat> I admit, this is not something I am used to. Yeah. This is weird. You're kind of obvious. You're a skeleton. It is at times like these. I wish I hadn't pawned all of my less sparkly outfits. I still miss that rackish black velvet one. Yeah, the white gives it away. But mind you, I'm pretty sure black with sparkles would do the same. Turn down the volume. Send Ernesto to spy on his rivals near the market. Yeah, I'm still kind of surprised, guys, that the villain is in the kingdom this early. I, I really, really did believe that the villain was going to be the last character there. That's what they usually do um, with a lot of these events and stuff like that. I, again, it's just weird because I think even with the storyline, I just don't know how well it's going to fit together. It's already a little bit weird and strained so we'll have to kind of just see how it goes obviously going forward but so far the the dialogue hasn't been you know their best let me say like Lilo and Stitch absolutely amazing Winnie the Pooh absolutely amazing even Snow White like the part I did at least that was my first event guys so you know I jumped in part of the way through um it was really good. Big Hero 6. Like, there's been a lot of really great events I've been a part of, like Little Mermaid and all of that. So, I, I just was kind of hoping maybe for a little bit better of a storyline going here. But I do have to say, so far, with the secondary storyline, it's been pretty good. I actually like that. Uh, last event, it, like the Finding Nemo one, I didn't really enjoy the dialogue that much the secondary storyline I was like uh, it was really strained and a little weird uh, kind of like this one is so I don't know if you guys like the, the dialogue and stuff for this event more than you know some of your other events maybe you've participated in let me know in the comment section below actually you know what let me know what your favorite 
ever event dialogue has been. Has it been The Little Mermaid? Winnie the Pooh? Maybe you were playing when they had the Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast events. Who knows? Whatever the events you've been a part of, what dialogue has been your favorite? And if you are a new kingdomer, maybe you've seen some of my old videos and you can totally weigh in on what you've enjoyed from that. Obviously, voice impressions are super fun for me to do, so I will be continuing to do that for the rest of the characters for the event. There is going to be some pretty fun ones coming I do have to say. Okay, so now I kind of want to just quickly talk about currency. How to get lots of currency. This also applies for magic and stuff in your kingdom. Uh, the best way to get currency, guys, is to send your characters out on shorter quests. Now, this does require you to check your kingdom a little bit more frequently, but I definitely would recommend sort of... Uh, gauging the quests with how long you're going to be away from your kingdom. Now, I know some characters, you're not going to have an option. You know, like I know Anastasia and Drizella, uh, they have, you know, specific quests, like just the one. One of them has it with Cinderella, and it's just like literally that's all they can do. So I do understand that, but try and make sure that they are kind of like out doing their thing if you have them. Now, some characters though, like Mickey Mouse, he'll have a whole bunch of different options uh, for times to sort of go out and stuff like that. So I do have to say that if if you are, you know, working on leveling up Mickey Mouse and stuff like that, um, if he is a good level, he should be able to collect obviously character tokens and stuff like that for the event. But uh, also think too about the currency. So if you know, for example, like he collects for for Miguel for 12 hours, but if you know, like, oh, okay, well, I've got another character sort of, you know, that's going to be able to drop that character token already. Like, I don't really need to, you know, have Mickey out for. 12 hours doing that send Mickey on some of those shorter like two hour quests or whatever if you're gonna be checking your kingdom especially for those pinatas that are sort of bouncing around they're every two hours guys they will help you to level up your characters and stuff like that so by tapping them yes you're gonna be getting the common character token that you will need to level up all the characters but you'll also get a tiny bit of currency now it may not seem like much but you know when you're tapping every two hours or four hours or whatever it is when you're checking your kingdom for you know 26 days which is the length of the event you know what it can add up to being a lot so just kind of think about that um, so shorter quests unless you are going to be away from your kingdom for an extended period of time and then obviously send them out accordingly so uh, just kind of be aware of that now if you are looking for example to maybe build the Santa Cecilia market shop I may kind of advise you guys to not level up uh, the characters like especially Ernesto I wouldn't level them up like you know, to a level four or something like that uh, before you kind of get this build. Because realistically, even Miguel, kind of same thing, only do what you have to do with them until you can get a build. Because then you can worry about saving up currency to level them up later. Like this takes a lot of time to obviously build and stuff and you need it for the dialogue and stuff like that. So kind of just try and save up the 3,000 currency to get that built and uh, kind of going. Now, obviously you need to spend your currency on bringing in characters before you can build this, but again, just kind of be aware of like, you know, your amount of currency and stuff. Now, um, in terms of of events leaderboard events you guys can get additional currency from this so make sure you guys if you want that additional bit of currency maybe you're just busy with life or you just actually need it because your kingdom is a bit smaller or something like that or you just want it um, then you know what try and do well with these leaderboard events I know some of them aren't the easiest trust me I know um, but there definitely are some that you guys like may do better in so try and make sure that you know you're checking your kingdom participating in those um, uh, leaderboard events again even if you don't do great you'll still get a little bit of currency out of it and stuff like that um also to the other kind of great way um you know uh, to collect that currency is going to be trying to get one of the concession stands for the event so if you are able to get one of the concession stands you will be much better off because it they will collect currency and stuff like that for you throughout the event so the earlier you get that the better uh, the parade float also does that so um, the parade float goes out you know I mean it goes out for a couple of hours and then you have like a massively long cooldown time so I do realize like that's not always the most convenient but again it is a really great way to get some additional currency so if you guys are feeling a little low maybe invest in that parade float so and it's 50 gems or you can buy it in a nice cheap bundle um, if you guys are looking for that it is going to be um, where it says at the bottom of the screen a show to remember click that and then obviously just sort of dive right in 
to your uh, featured section and in there you will be able to see the different bundles. Um, if you guys don't have Dante, then Dante is going to be very helpful to collect currency as well. Um, but if you guys do have him, obviously use him wisely, right? Level him up smartly, like especially, you know, leading up to this. It kind of it kind of goes back to that first point I had, right? If you have Dante, make sure you're sending him out, but careful when you level him up too early on. Um, just, you know, for all of that. Like, get, a, get him to a two before you build this, for sure. But don't be going like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get to like a four, five, six. Like, you know what? Just slow down, relax. We still have like over 20 days. We're fine. Like, there's really there's really nothing to stress about at this point even if you're just starting the event you guys aren't far enough behind I would say that you guys can't make it through so no matter where you are sort of in your game uh, you will be fine now again that shorter quest thing it does apply for magic as well guys all of this applies for magic check your kingdom more frequently you'll get more magic um, if you guys are sending your characters home do be aware that when you do that, you will collect a little bit less magic. You'll still collect magic, but if you don't have time to keep sending your characters out over and over and over again, when you get a lot of characters like I have, it, it does become a bit of a problem when you know, you're busy doing other things in life, like working, or maybe you're in school, or away on a vacation, or whatever it is. Um, you guys just need to kind of be aware that maybe sometimes sending your characters home isn't as bad as it seems. I'm really against it for if you're saving up for stuff, and I really thought that feature was super annoying like when it came in. I was like, really? Who's going to send their characters home? But I'm, I, I am starting to see maybe the benefit of it just um, as my life has gotten a lot busier and stuff like that. Again, do I advise it if you're trying to collect a lot of magic? Absolutely not. But again, if you're kind of sitting cushy right now, then again, don't stress about it too, too much. Um, but yeah, hopefully that kind of answers your questions and stuff like that about getting enough event currency for the event. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to pop them in the comment section below and I'll try and either answer them um, specifically or if I feel like it's just like a really too big of a question to like just type out I will like let you know that I'll be addressing it in my next video so hopefully you guys found all of that very helpful so that is it for today guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure you guys give it a big Mickey thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and hit that bell for post notifications so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys for the next Dizzy's Magic Kingdoms game video bye